Hey everyone, welcome to part four of this aggregation project video, where in part one we saw how we could query for the individual staked rewards. In part two, we queried for the summation or the aggregation of staked rewards. And then in part three, we combine parts one and two together. Now, in part four, I want to talk about reward versus rewarded. Now, what you may have noticed is that in our project YAML file, we started at around block 7 million. Now, if we wanted to start earlier, say at block 6 million, as you can see here, we have to make a minor change. And that is because what happened was that the API was updated at around block 6.7 million, where previously the method was called reward. It was then updated to rewarded. So if we want to capture the reward method, we're going to have to add in a few more handlers and then update or tweak the code slightly. And I'll show you how we can do this. First of all, we want to update the manifest file here and I'm going to add in a few more handlers that you can see here. The first one I'm going to call this handle sum reward. So it's exactly the same as the handle sum rewarded, but it's just without the ED. And then down below, the same with handle staking rewarded. I'm just going to say handle staking reward. So without the ED and then in my method it's just using reward so I'm going to capture and filter these specific events now once they've been captured I've got to work with them handle them or do something with it so this is where we jump into our mappings file and I'm going to create two more functions the first one is going to be called handle sum reward so without ed and all I'm going to do here is when this is called I'm just going to call the original handle sum rewarded so this one calls this function down here and that's really all I have to do so it's a neat little trick and I'll do the same with the handle staking reward where up here I'm just going to call the handle staking rewarded or the pass with ed like so with these two minor changes let me go ahead and rebuild the code and remember because i have modified my start block i will have to go and delete the database like so and let's go ahead and run docker compose again to regenerate the databases and then we should be getting information from block 6 million onwards now there is an error here you can see that I've got a formatting error in my manifest file and that is because the indentation must be exact so let's go and line up these like so and let's go and run compose again and now the node has started I'm fetching blocks from 6 million in batches of 100 and if we go back to the playground let's go ahead and change my query hit run this one here I've got an error this red bar indicating that I cannot use the account that's because we've changed the type to be of some reward so let's delete this and now you can see I've got data being returned for block in the six million going forward so there we go that concludes this four-part series of the aggregation function where we've gone ahead and queried for the staking rewards, we've aggregated them, and then we've also 
added an entity relationship, the one-to-many, both to combine the total rewards in combination with the individual rewards as well. And finally, in this video, we gave an overview of the changes to reward versus rewarded. So I hope this four-part series was useful. It was a lot to take in, so go back, rewatch, because there were many fundamental concepts here that will certainly help you going forward. I appreciate your time and catch you on the next video.